Yo, what's going down with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and of course, as always, the talk of Nikki Gamotis out there. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are rest of intros and outros towards this channel. And uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all good stuff. And uh, yeah, other than that, speaking of Instagram, I actually posted one of my first videos, like Shiny Honey, that's like Zerkatry. So I'll leave that down below if you want to check that yourself on Instagram TV. IGTV, just in case my YouTube channel ever goes down, and I still got that back up in DTube, just in case, and Minds.com, so I got about three or four other social media sites, just in case my YouTube channel ever gets, unfortunately, like, shut down, I hope to God that doesn't happen, but anyways, shout out to my boy, Booker Pro Mario, he made some really, really good-ass statements about the Sonic Mania thing, happened a couple days ago, best game that was ever, um, most highest rated in 15 years, so yeah, Shout out to Christina Alexander from um, Sa Sega Nerds. I never heard of the Sega Nerds site until my boy Proto told me about it. So here's this. So it says Sonic Mania does the biggest rating Sonic video game in 15 years. The Switch edges over the PS4 Xbox One versions. It's really, going to be a really super short, sweet to the point video. So not going to be that long. I'm not going to take up too much time. It's probably going to be like five or six minutes. So. Link to the Proto Myers video down below. I actually heard about this information a couple days ago. So it says, to no one's surprise, Tuesday, Sonic Mania became one of the most critically acclaimed Sonic games since Sonic Adventure 2. And that was like 15 and a half years ago. Holy shit, that took forever to freaking create. I remember back in the days when I was a 90s because Sega Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were the biggest thing at that time. And some of you, my younger audiences, probably weren't even born yet at that time. But anyways, it says... <clears throat> goes on to say, the PS4 version of Mania proven to be most highly favorable by Metacritic and has scored as an 86 base of 45. Whistles the Xbox One version received an 84 base of 10. Oh, and shout out to this one dude real quick. He actually gave me a comment on my Digimon, um, <clears throat> Digimon and Attack on Titan video games coming out pretty soon. So I just had to give him a quick shout out. Thank you very, very much. It's very, very, extremely much appreciative for what. The guy said he wanted to know when these games were coming out for the Digimon thing. When does it drop on these consoles? I told him I think it's probably going to be 2020 when the PS5 comes out. So shout out to you, Mr. Chain Soul Gaming. You are an absolute legend. You're awesome. Well, let's get back to the Sonic news, though. So it says, Nintendo Switch version, however, currently has the highest rating with 89 score. EGM awarded Mania 9 out of 10 with Molly L. Pallerson raving. And this is from their words. It's not mine. Just saying what they talked about, repeated what they said. Sega took a chance in letting the longtime Sonic fans and a few smaller dev teams bring the original 16-bit iteration of the mascot back into the modern era. And as a result of Sonic Mania, one of the most purest and most enjoyable Sonic games we've ever been given. Question isn't if this experiment is receiving classic Sonic was a success full or not, but the question is, oh, what has happened next? Mally L. Patterson from EGM. Not sure where EGM is from. I don't know if that's a video game thing like Otaku or Polygon, or a video gaming site that they talk about a lot of journalism and all that stuff. But hey, whatever. This Heidi comes IGN. Ah, uh, you don't really give a crap by IGN. Trappiest, fakest news around. I'm just saying. Gave the score to eight. <clears throat> gave the game a score out of eight point seven. I don't know why. I was blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Praising its vivid, not color graphics for the new challenges. Added to every stage. And it says she, she goes on to say, I'm going to get the damn words right. <laughs> it is truly a classic throwback of the long time series of fans having to be clamoring for, but there's plenty to love here, even if you don't grow up, or excuse me, didn't grow up with the Genesis. I did. I, do, I grew up with a couple of games, but not all of them. I used to play with my cousin's house back in the day. Just saying. <laughs> Let's move on. Sonic Mania is a stellar example of a retro re revival done right. Heidi comes from IGN. So it goes on to say, of course, the PC games. There are no PC reviews yet, as of yet, but because the game has been delayed until late August. Oh my god, August. Come on, Sega, get your shit together in Sonic Team. You gotta get your shit together. Should have been releasing this in July by this point, or even a couple months earlier. Come on, you're a billion trillion dollar company. You're almost popular all over the world as far as creating developments for games for Sega. Even though this was originally from an old school Kickstarter account. And it ended up being a big, giant thing. And Chris Whitehead ended up making all the beautiful-ass sexy music for Sonic. I absolutely enjoyed the shit out of it as a 90s kid. 
even as a grown adult, almost 30 years old next year, I still enjoy, I beat my, beatbox my head. I bob my head whenever I hit listen to it on my SoundCloud account. So by the way, you should follow me here because I do a lot of like, now I don't really create any of the music, but I do like a lot of the music and podcasts are just saying, just putting it out there. So it says I have, haven't picked up Mania yet myself, but I will. When I do play it, I'll appreciate Sonic's history even more than I did in the Phantom 15 years ago. And there's a little illustration out there. You guys can do that. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions, I'm thinking it's pretty damn cool that they gave it a 15%. I remember the old school games. I even gave me a list on this Sonic Wiki I was reading on. Sonic the Hedgehog 1, 2, and 3 for the original Genesis and Sonic and Knuckles. And then you get Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2. And then you get the other one, the old school Xbox that I played. I know some people don't like it. It's not as bad as Sonic 06. The 2006 one is probably one of the worst of all time, even though it did introduce a brand new character, which was Silver at that particular point in time. Which I remember it was way back in my junior year of high school. It was a huge ass point in my life. And hot damn, it was really, really beautiful. <laughs> Not going to get into it, it's kind of private information. But um, I did like Silver the Hedgehog. It was a kick ass character. He was just, ugh. A lot of the glitches were really, really shitty. The story was absolute trash and garbage. But some of the new characters they brought in was cool. I'll admit that. And then you got a couple other ones, like the side ones, like Sonic Adventure DX, the old, old one from way back in the GameCube era. And then you also had another one, which was on Sonic the Lost Rings, Temple of the Rings, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, Sonic and the Black Knight. That one was really good for me, in my personal opinion. Voice acting wasn't that great. Sonic Sega All-Star Racing, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Sonic Free Rider, Sonic Colors was, like I said, Sonic Generation was really good. Fortunately, I never got a chance to play it. Maybe one day I will. And Mario and Sunshine to London Olympics. And what else was out there? Sonic Athletes and Sonic Go Shooter I didn't care too much about. It's all on here. I'll leave the link to the wiki down below if you want to read the rest yourself. Sonic Runner's Adventure was last year, just barely on the Android and iOS iPhones. More about thoughts, views, and opinions. I don't know if Sega's running out of ideas. I know Proto, he actually talked about a couple of these ideas uh, 15 years ago. 15 freaking years has been that long since the Sonic game has been overpopularized like that. Come on. And they even talk about the Game Boy Advance, like Sonic um, Advance 1, 2, and 3, where they had Cream the Rabbit and Blaze the Cat with their first introduction to the highlights of that series. With that being said, I know I said it was going to be five or six minutes long, and I went a little overboard. That's it. See you guys in the next one. Um, Yeah, shout out to my boy Protomar. He talked about this. I'll leave the link to this video on the Wikia. Uh, thousand other Sonic games, and not even, not even to mention the fan made games. That got popular at that time in the description box down below. I'm out of here. Peace the hells out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And of course, as always, the talk is Nikki Kamudis out there. I will see you when I see you guys. Good day, have a good night, wherever you are out around the world out there. Don't drink smoke wood at the same time. Don't take them reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it locked out there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out, ladies, and bye. Stay tuned for more future article session reviews, including video gaming industry news, anime manga news, and internet news. And once September comes around the corner, more outdoor chat and breeze vlog video contents I will do and post up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe. Um, take it easy. Late saying goodbye. I'll see you on the flip side. Um, stay safe. Peace out, my sauerkraut. And yeah, see you guys on the flip side. Late, I'm out of here. Goodbye. And oh, one more other thing. I almost forgot a little update. I'm going to be doing an unboxing later on that. Totoro little toy I was talking about. Stay tuned for that. Goodbye.